Hello students, today we're going to study about Introduction to Educational Technology. Introduction. Technology is the application of scientific knowledge, the practical task of life. The impact of technology is so tremendous that it practically dominates all spheres of life. If properly employed, technology could make education more productive, powerful, and instruction will be more scientifically based and access to education will be more equal. Due to technology, there is profound impact on how a person learns, what he learns, and where he learns. The new technology challenges the educators to reassess their roles and responsibilities in an era of radical change. When technology is used for the purpose of accelerating and felicitating educational processes with certain objectives in view, that technology is called educational technology. When the teacher uses educational technology in the class, he provides concrete, that is physical, structure to the mental, that is abstract, objectives. So, Educational technology is that science of strategies and techniques which leads us to educational goals and thus it refers to teaching strategies and techniques. Now what is the concept of educational technology? Educational technology is the efficient organization of any learning system adapting or adopting methods, process and products to serve identified educational goals. This involves systematic identification of the goals of education, recognition of the diversity of a learner's needs, the context in which learning will take place, and the range of provisions needed for each of these. The challenge is to design appropriate systems that will provide for and enable appropriate teaching learning systems that could realize the identified goals. Educational technology acts as an agent of change in the classroom, which includes not only the teacher and the teaching learning process, but also systematic issues like reach, equity and quality. Educational technology was never created it has simply emerged. Though the origin of the term is unclear, the roots of this concept extend back through the centuries. The groundwork for the field of educational technology, then called educational engineering, seems to have emerged with Franklin Bobbitt, 1924, and W. W. Carter's, 1945. Finn in 1962, said educational technology is a process, an attitude or a way of thinking about certain classes of problems. The National Policy on Education 1986 reported that educational technology offers the means to reach large numbers in remote and inaccessible areas and remove disparity in educational facilities and education made available to the disadvantage and provide individualized instructions to learners conveniently suited to their needs and pace of learning. Let's now see some definitions. According to Gani, 1968, educational technology is the development of a set of systematic techniques and accompanying practical knowledge for designing, testing, and operating schools. Educational technology is drawn upon many disciplines, including those that designed working space like architecture, equipment like physical sciences, 
social environments like sociology and anthropology. Derek Rontree, 1973, says, Educational technology is as wide as education itself. It is concerned with the design and evaluation of curricula and learning experiences and with the problems of implementing and propagating them. Essentially, it is a rational problem-solving approach to education, a way of thinking scientifically and systematically about learning and teaching. Coming to types of educational technology. There are three types of education technology. Technology in education or ET1, technology of education or ET2, and systems approach or ET3. Technology in education or ET1. Technology in education refers to the application of engineering principles in the development of electro-mechanical equipment used for instructional purposes. This type of technology is known as ET1 or hardware or media. Beginning with simple audiovisual aids like charts, models, film strips, slides, audio cassettes, and sophisticated equipment and gadgets like films, projectors, radio, tape recorder, record player, television, video teaching machines, and computers, etc., to the most sophisticated electronic gadgets, they all fall in this type of ET. Use of media in education, including teaching learning and educational management, has revolutionized the education system all over the world. It gives us a number of devices, oblique media, with tremendous capabilities to facilitate the learning process of a given group of students. Hardware approach is based on the application of principles of physical sciences and engineering to education and training system. The mechanism is being introduced by preservation, transmission, and advancement of human knowledge. For instance, a teacher can deal with a large group of students by his discourse on radio or television. The next is Technology of Education or ET2. Technology of education suggests us the best way to use media to accomplish certain specific objectives. The software approach or software technology of education owes its origin to the behavioral sciences and their applied aspects concerned with the psychology of learning. It originated from the engineering efforts of Skinner and other behaviorists. Technology of education refers to the detailed application of psychology of learning to practical teaching problems. The emphasis is on the scientific way of teaching, designing, structuring, and implementing teaching to achieve well-defined objectives. According to Arthur Melton, 1959, Software teaching is indirectly related to psychology of learning which comprises behavioral changes resulting from experience. This view of educational technology is associated with the modern principles and theories of teachings, models of teaching, theory of instruction, and theory of teacher behavior, and the principles of programmed learning. Now, system approach or ET3. The system approach to the design and analysis of teaching or training situations is the basis of the great majority of modern educational technology related developments. This type of technology is called ET3 or operating systems or management technology. The concept refers to a dynamic order of parts and process in mutual interaction. For example, classroom is a system of a bigger system, the school, 
and all the systems have goals in accordance with the overall goal of a bigger system. The basic assumption of system approach is that teaching is a science, a professional activity aimed at achieving certain educational objectives. Let's now discuss some of the educative process of educational technology. Until recently, the teachers used to be the sole interpreter and facilitator of knowledge to the learners and the textbooks were the sole resource. Technology today assists and supports educational functions. Thus, it increases the productivity of the teaching force and freeing them of the multitude of clerical record keeping chores and the elementary task of simply presenting information for students' consumption. It can help in restoring personal touch to the educational process. Educational technology has affected the conventional roles of the teachers and equips them with technical mindset to perform various activities related to teaching and thus has changed and improved the whole process of education in the following manners. The importance of educational technology is to promote the efficiency of education by improving the quality of teaching, of educational administration and of educational research. So, educational technology is important for the following reasons. Number one, for effective instruction. Research in instructional media reveals that motivated students can learn a great deal from any of the media. ET can improve the effectiveness of instruction. Number two, for facilitating individual differences. ET facilitates individual students to learn according to their requirement and pace of learning. Individual students interact with instructional materials and pursue their learning tasks by themselves at their own pace of learning and are presented with opportunities to obtain information about their progress. Thus, ET individualizes instruction. Number three, for providing equal educational opportunities. ET is needed to provide equal educational opportunities to all. For instance, educational radio and television programs being broadcasted all over the country caters to all an unlimited number of students without discrimination. Program instructions test can be studied by any student remote or underdeveloped or employed or dropped out, etc. Number four, for preservation of knowledge, Modern electronic gadgets provide tremendous capabilities to preserve knowledge and information for future use, including print media. Bulk of information can be preserved electromechanically in the form of audiovisual programs, computer software, video disc, etc. Even this very lesson is a part of ET. Number five. For transmission of knowledge, use of modern media in education can reach and teach students in any part of the globe. Almost the entire country can be covered simultaneously through radio or television networking system. Communication satellites have aided to the effectiveness and efficacy of communication at a distance and made it possible to link more than one location and more than one group of students through two-way talkback system. Number six, for imparting quality education. Because of advanced planning and involvement of experts available in the area of study, mediated teaching imparts quality education to unlimited number of students. Mediated education enables the use of the best teacher available in the area. Number seven, for educational planning. 
educational technology helps in overall social planning and is concerned with qualitative and quantitative design of a community's entire education system. A systematic approach to teaching learning includes specification of objectives, designing and structuring content, determining evaluation techniques, etc. Number 8. For improving learning, it is needed to facilitate human learning through systematic identification, development, organization and utilization of a full range of learning resources and through the management of these resources. Number 9. For pre-service and in-service teacher education. Educational technology is needed to make teacher training more effective via various new approaches, for example, micro-teaching, simulated teaching, models of teaching, and interaction analysis, all for improving classroom interaction, producing effective teachers, and helping teachers to become better teachers. Coming to the scope of educational technology, we can broadly discuss the scope of educational technology under the following headings. Number one, in revitalizing and reorienting existing resources. To capitalize on the existence of a large number of institutions and facilities, nationwide networks and trained professional and creative manpower in the area of ET and to recognize the potential of ICT and the internet and promote universal access. Number two, in systematic reforms, that is to ensure that technology is used for equitable and democratic manner to enhance education of all, to help to shift focus from fixed curricula to a flexible one, and to enhance open education. Number three, in refreshing skills of in-service teachers. To help to create a system of lifelong professional development and support in the area of education. And to support development and nurture teachers for their professional development. Number four, in pre-service teacher education. To introduce teachers to flexible models of reaching curriculum goals and to introduce the use of media and technology in the teaching learning process of teachers. To enable trainee teachers to access sources of knowledge to create knowledge. Number five, in school education that is to enable students to develop explanatory reasoning and higher order skills. To enable students to access sources of knowledge and interpret them and create knowledge rather than to be passive learners. And to promote flexible curriculum and flexible models of evaluation. Number six, in research. That is, to find out new initiatives for improvement, to examine the possibilities of mobile technologies for learning purposes, and to optimize learning paths for learners with different learning styles coming from a variety of social backgrounds. Educational technology today and tomorrow. The impact of educational technology is tremendous in overall development of human life. The green revolution in agriculture, hydroelectric projects in irrigation, production of heavy machinery and tools in industry, and electronics are all visible results of the technological advancement. And technology is here to stay. In the field of education, the Government of India, in order to promote mass media and instructional technology, has launched an educational technology project 
and the Educational Technology Centre was set up in NCERT. The purpose was to improve education by the proper use of educational technology. National Policy of Education 1986 has stressed on the importance of ET in the following ways. Establishment of National Open University Establishment of Navodhya schools in some areas to train rural talents Universalization of primary education through non-formal systems Developing effective systems of the lifelong education encompassing agriculture, health, literacy and other forms of adult learning needs more effective use of educational technology in the improvement of education in the existing school systems and universities. Now coming to the conclusion. Educational technology is an intellectual and practical pursuit concerned with all aspects of the design and optimal organization of educational systems and subsystems and with the relation between their inputs and outputs, between desired outcomes and the allocations of resources to achieve them. The new educational technology is likely to sweep the country very fast. We, the teachers, should be rather ready to receive and respond to this massive change in the field of education. A teacher has become a trainer, instructor, organizer and adopts new technological aids. With the help of mass media, quality education can be provided to children and adults alike even in the remote and inaccessible areas. Thus, we can say that educational technology is goal-oriented, systematic and ensures optimum outputs in the terms of learning outcomes in minimum time. We can say that education technology is now a part and parcel of our life and it will continue to impact our lives and help in enriching it. Thank you.